on question two of our uh, practice exam. So let's go ahead and read through this question. So rip curls develop two new wetsuit, uh, wetsuit materials that mimic otter fur. So the wetsuit materials X and Y characterized by their ability to form a continuous layer of air between the wetsuit and the ocean expressed as a percentage. Um, so the first prototypes have been evaluated. So I have 14 samples of material X. So number of X samples equals 14. Um, we're analyzed to exhibit a mean of 85. So X bar X is equal to 85. My, and a sample standard deviation. So my S of X is equal to 4. Material Y have a sample standard deviation. So S of Y of 5. Sample mean uh, X of Y is equal to 95. And then only 11 samples. So number of Y equals 11. So uh, are these two wetsuits significantly different in terms of their ability to form a continuous air layer? So I'm going to pull up my Mathematica notebook. I'm going to, again, I've cleared my kernel. So now I'm just going to reevaluate my pre-built in functions. And so if I'm comparing two materials, I'm going to use my two-tailed, or actually my, um, basically this T-experimental, uh, our two-tailed hypothesis testing. So I'm going to define these variables here first. So nx equals 14, x, x equals 85, uh, sx equals 4, and y equals 11, uh, xy equals 95. And you can see, right, by writing this down ahead of time, if I, you know, fall behind later on in the exam, at least I have those values written there. So I do that. So now I'm going to do my hypothesis testing, right? So are they significantly different? So first step, so H naught, mu's basically same, alternative to, different. Um, does it give us any confidence interval? Nope. So we're going to assume that we're working with 95% confidence interval or an alpha is equal to 0.5. Uh, or I'm going to calculate my T experimental, the two tail test, um, the two test comparison. So I also need to figure out then I, what is my T alpha over two mu. I'm doing T alpha over two because I'm comparing a two tail test, seeing if they're different. So if I'm doing a two test comparison, I need to figure out what's my new. So I'm going to go ahead and first I'm going to calculate that. Whoops, right here. Let's get my value right here. So this is my new. So for the new, I need uh, S of X, S of Y, N of X, N of Y. So I'm going to look at that numerically. 18, 18, 19. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say 19. So new is equal to 19. So I know now that this is equal to 2, 0 0.025, 19. And I can look up that value now. Let's go ahead and look it up on my T table. Definitely need those in the exam. That's the chi square table. Don't confuse the two, Professor Simon. Um, so 025, uh, and then I need to go to all the way to 19, so 2.093. Let's go to 2.0 equals 2.093. Then, calculating the experimental, we just go back to our notebook. So I'm going to do T at EXP, this one. So T experimental, and then I need, do I need... Here, I'm going to actually, oops, don't want to cancel that. I'm just going to kind of open it up. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so everyone can see kind of how the variables are going to be read in. So I need XX, I need XY, I need SX, I need SY, I need NX, I need NY. Make sure you kind of do those in the appropriate uh, values. And I get a minus 5.41087. So it takes very little minus 5.41. So... Let's go ahead and, well, again, we're doing a two-tailed hypothesis test, so let's go to our kind of scenarios here. So we said that this value is like 2.09, 2.09, and then our values was it's minus 5.4, you know, et cetera, et cetera, something, something, uh, one or the other. So let's get out of here quickly. So let's see here. <laughs> Excellent. So let's go ahead and back to our Mathematica notebook. Oh, maybe it did crash. Oh, it did crash. We'll recover. We'll deal with that guy later. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move into, I'm doing too much work. Um, so we are in the reject region. So I'm going to reject. So we fall outside of those bounds. So let's just kind of double check that here. 
So minus two here. Let's go ahead and close that. Our critical values with minus two, minus five point four, so we're outside of bounds, reject H naught. So that takes care of the first problem. So this one completely done. So, Rube Curls decided to move forward and make uh, produce wetsuits that uh, are made from material Y. So we're focusing on material Y now. However, as part of the market today, they must ensure the population of mean must be greater than uh, 92. Uh, uh, basically, the population mean of material Y must be greater than 92 of a continuous percent of a continuous layer. Should Rube Curl, Rube Curl proceed? They assumed a 5% significance level. So, I know here alpha is equal to 0 0.05. And what we're trying to kind of figure out and what we're going to ask to uh, figure out here is our H naught is always going to be what it's given in this problem statement, right? It's asking us about the 92. So we're going to assume our mu is equal to this mu naught that's equal to 92. Our alternative hypothesis is that it is mu is uh, greater than 92. So we're doing a right tail test. We're trying to test is this greater than 92? Because that's what we kind of need for the, our campaign. So does it come from a population that's greater than 92%? Third, again, we know 95% confidence interval. Alpha is 0 0.05. Four, we're going to calculate our T experimental. But it's going to be kind of that different value we usually work with. And five, we are going to look at, since it's right-tailed, it's an alpha. And we know already alpha is 0 0.05. We know our new because we're looking at material Y. So that's going to be n minus 1, so that's 10. Let's go ahead and find that value on our chart. Very, very handy. So, 05 here, and then we want, uh, I believe it was, I think it was 05 and 10. 05 and 10, so let's go back here. 05, 10, 1.812. Oops, excuse me. So this is going to be, oops, no, right here. So this is going to be 1.812. Let's figure out our T experimental. So our T experimental is just going to be the following. So TEXP2, because again, I'm doing just a not two tail test. So I need my X of Y, my mu. Uh, so again, that's my X bar minus our mu naught, which is going to be 92. And then I'm going to get our S of X, which is our S of Y, and then our N sub Y. And I calculate that. Let's look at that numerically. And we get a T experimental value of 1.989. So our T experimental is 1.989. So what region are we in here? So let's go ahead on our right tail test. So this is our critical value. So we are, again, in the reject region. So we are going to reject that hypothesis because we saw here this was 1.812 we can kind of re-verify that uh, as well so 05 05 and then we're going all the way to 10 so 1.812 so we are to the right so we are rejecting here so let's go ahead and write that value down here or just say in our notebook in our solution so all four all five reject that's it that's how you could, not my Denny's, uh, <laughs> that's, uh, that's basically all for question two. So again, write these down, show your hypothesis testing protocols, and then again, do the math and Mathematica. That's it. Thanks. And uh, again, hopefully everyone has a great day, and I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions, and we're on to problem three.